Hey guys, Pedro here from Living From Trading and I'm coming to you today to show you the trade that we took live on our trading room. Uh, this is the trade that uh, we took during New York Open. This is our flash trading strategy and uh, within this, when we use this strategy we usually only trade uh, one minute per day. So we wait for the first candle after New York open to to close and af after that first one minute candle we we open our trade if uh, a setup presents to us and uh, we just let the trade uh, go and uh, and uh, and achieve our target so today Apple uh, opened uh, above the three moving averages that we use on our strategy that's the, the 8 period moving average, the 20 period moving average and the 200 period moving average and uh, when Apple uh, opened the first candle which is this red candle here it opened with a, with a down bias uh, it was a down candle, a bear candle and uh, we don't trade immediately uh, if we see a candle that opens and closes against our resistances that are, or supports that are our moving averages we don't take the trade against the moving average no we wait for the red to start to be deleted by green and uh, at some point when when a lot of red was already eliminated by green we enter our position only when the price is going on our direction and uh, that was what, what happened today uh, the first candle was a bear candle a red candle that went down and uh, as soon as the price start to go up up and almost all the red was deleted uh, on some situations i i wait for all the red to be deleted on other situations i can I can anticipate a little bit and that's what I did today and uh, after I opened the trade I just set my my stop loss which was uh, below this this low I, I was willing to lose just this small amount and uh, I set my take profit which was there and uh, you can see that the risk reward it's it's pretty pretty big we have a, a lot of reward to a, a small risk and uh, that's what we do every day we wait for one minute after the New York market opens we open our trade we set our stop loss we set our take profit and then just let the trade run uh, we o o always open our trades uh, according to the trend so all our moving averages that are our supports and resistances they they all act as as support and resistance and they they don't uh, it's difficult for the price to to break them so the what we we saw after the open was an uptrend that was ab about to start and we just rode that uptrend and uh, we almost caught the high of the day and during this trend there was a lot of more opportunities to 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 trade you, you can see here that the price made a pullback then again we have some red and the the green started to delete the red and here we could we could have open another trade and then we have another pullback and when green starts to to erase previous red we, here we have another entry that could have give us some profit and then another pullback to the moving average when green appears and starts to delete the previous red we open our trade set set our stop loss and and we go and wait for a new high for a break above the previous high and the run so I use the flash trading strategy which is just trading one minute per day set the trade and let it go but uh, for, for people that want to day trade 
uh, and that's what I do usually trading DAX and, and trading Dow Jones depending on the time of the day and the people that actually want to to ride a trend and day trade uh, this is very good opportunities and uh, what what made the trend change so wh when we arrived this point uh, something made the trend change and we can see that because we see a lot of red here and uh, that whole red it's it's eliminating a lot of the previous green we can we can join this 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 red all these red candles and you can see that is this is a big drop a huge amount of red and when when we see a huge amount of red after uh, during an uptrend we must be careful because this means that the bears uh, started to 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 enter the market uh, and started to play hard the market and uh, the, this is a signal that the the market is is about to reverse and that's exactly what it did it uh, it, it was uh, a few minutes trapped here between the moving average until it uh, it finally broke the, the fastest moving averages and started a downtrend you can see each pullback it's it's a traded pullback you can go and short again another pullback you can go and short boom new new lows break of new lows wait for, wait for a run after the break of new lows another pullback red eliminated previous pre previous green boom wait for the, the the price to break the new lows it's oh so easy to trade like this guys you you can make a lot of money trading like this you don't like you don't need to trade uh, charts that uh, don't go anywhere uh, you just need to wait for the right times of the day and uh, the the right times of the, of the day is when the price has the most volatility when it is moving uh, faster when it moves a lot look at the the end of the previous day here guys compare the movement this is this, it, it's just going sideways the you you don't see any signal to go anywhere here this is just the the the, the end of the market the last uh, last orders that usually give a little more volatility but the the rest of the day uh, the market is very slow so if if you choose the the best times of the day to trade the, which is the open of the markets uh, if you trade stocks or if you trade the indices like like Dow Jones or DAX uh, during London session the open of the of of the London session and the open of of the New York session they give a lot of volatility to 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 the markets and you should use that volatility to to take your trades to make money and you don't wait for for the price to to die to to start to go sideways to don't do anything at all the, that's my advice to you guys uh, i hope this helps you to to take good trades to to be profitable and if you like my my videos please uh, give me a like and please subscribe my channel so that you get updates each time that i i post a new video thank you guys and until next video